Gone are the days of us riding in our dad's construction boots. I mean, look at these things. The technology has come so far, even since the days that I was racing. Motocross boots in general are crucial to the overall control that a rider has. The greatest advances that we've been able to deliver on is the fact that we've substantially reduced the amount of working parts that go into a motocross boot. This is an example of the complete outer sole of our boot. It's designed with a very slim and flat profile to offer better grip and feel on the motorcycle but also we do not want the rider when planting their foot for them to really get stuck. The biomechanical inner ankle brace, which protects against rotations on the lower part of the leg that could be distributed up to your knee area. With the amount of force and stuff that we're taking on our bike, it really helps to have the extra support there. Exclusive to the Tech 10 platform, is our unique single molded foot chassis that incorporates five different rubber compounds. It's a very slim toe box, offers better contact and feel for brake and shift levers. And then the boot itself is uh, molded on top of the chassis after that. So the boot is built from ground up. Another unique feature found inside the foot chassis is the metal shank. This helps distribute the force that a rider receives through the foot peg, but also helps with structural integrity to allow your foot not to bend in awkward ways. What you see Eli Tomac or Josh Grant or Jeremy McGrath wearing are the exact same boots that anybody can purchase at their local dealership. The medial side of the boot needs to be very flat. Kind of gives the rider a, a really connected feel to the bike. One thing that we have is a Duratac rubber. It's not just a regular rubber, it's kind of a hybrid rubber that we've developed that we found it works really well to hold the rider to the bike. So we also have the hinge that has integrated lockouts that will prevent the rider from hyperextending their ankle. We've also added a layer of vibration dampening material to the bottom of the boot. It's like holding onto a jackhammer. Your bike is vibrating, it's bouncing around, the engine's revving. It can be distracting, it can also be fatiguing. So if we can eliminate that from the equation, it'll help the rider be more efficient and more focused.